flocking like birds in the sky, like fish in the sea, like ants to a nest. Like bees swarming. Always allow yourself to generate material organically. We must go beyond the limits, beyond our everyday. The art of improvisation was a continuous concept. We became a self-organising system using the technique flocking. Improvisation is to create a sensory awareness of yourself and of others and becoming aware of your own body and getting confidence and heightened ability. This method can become key to spontaneous outbursts of small patterns that happen organically. As an individual, you become sensory aware of the bodies and the space around you. For me, choreography was uh, a journey of inner emotions expressed through physicality. And in terms of flocking, uh, we learn to listen to our bodies before we tell it what to do. We've been working with the notion of self-organising systems that are manifested in so many ways in the natural world from uh, birds flocking and bees swarming. Uh, as well as, indeed, the way that fashions form and all sorts of uh, large scale where there's multiple elements coordinate in behaviour following very simple rules to get very complex and unpredictable patterning. And this is so very similar to the way that performance is made through improvisational systems. So the students initially created duets and then we've integrated the key components, the key motif material of those duets into a large-scale self-organizing ensemble performance to try and draw out the echoes with bee behavior. The process um, allowed us to consolidate our two-in-one choreographic identity. In this way, we were able to coexist as a pair, although never losing the sense of self moulding our personalities in a unison system in which we were present as both single individuals and as one. We visited the bees on the roofs here at London Met um, and creating those very important links between the way that human behaviour so echoes many of the essential natural systems of our environment, such as the, the bees that we're very proud to have here at London Met. There's a quote by Miguel Sicard, the act of appropriating the form of play and doing something unusual or unexpected is beautiful. It is also beautiful to perfect the mechanised interaction between human and system. We worked in cohesion with rhythm, which proved beneficial, as during play we often react to impulse, moving swiftly to unknown territory without requiring a conscious level of application. We focused on inspirational practitioners such as Pina Bausch. Her writer spring performance created a surreal effect for us. Its collaborative work um, inspired us through our piece and it created a surreal and simple effect. We explored Baroque gestures including ploy and oe, which integrated into our solo work in multiple expressions. So these two movements we used in our piece like as so, to, in, to represent entrapment and wanting to be free. These science art crossovers, I'm very inspired by, and the students draw a lot of meaning from, in terms of seeing the, the creative work we do, how the processes and the methodologies we use in creating performance to communicate and share ideas with others are so echoed by the systems at play within what are seen as the scientific world, but effectively about how our world works. <laughs>